This is our home. There are over 7 million people in Hong Kong, and more than 2 million live in public housing estates under the auspices of the Hong Kong Housing Authority. They provide a comfortable environment and a full range of basic facilities for tenants. The accomplishments of today's public housing have actually evolved over the past decades. On Christmas night 1953, a fire broke out in the Shekip May squatter area. Over 53,000 people were made homeless. This crisis persuaded the government to build resettlement blocks to house both the fire victims and other squatter dwellers. In 1954, the first batch of resettlement blocks was built in Shekip May. The government set up the then Hong Kong Housing Authority, a semi-independent organization providing low- to middle-income families low-cost housing with basic provisions. In 1972, the government announced a 10-year housing program and established the Hong Kong Housing Authority in 1973, putting management of all resettlement blocks and low-cost housing estates under one roof. The Housing Authority is a policy-making body which formulates policies on planning, design, construction, maintenance and management of public housing, while the housing department carries out the policies and day-to-day -day operations. Over the years, design of public housing has seen continuous improvements. Resettlement blocks of the 1950s were of six or seven stories high. Residents had to share toilets, bathrooms and tap water in the middle section of each floor. Slab blocks of the 1960s were 16 stories high, with lift access for every three floors. Twin tower blocks of the 1970s were over 20 floors high, with lift access to all levels. Trident blocks of the 1980s were generally 35 stories in height, with three separate wings connected by a lift lobby in the center. Harmony blocks of the 1990s were mainly in cruciform shape and of 40 floors high. Major improvements have also been made in flat layouts. Flats in earlier resettlement blocks were small in size and without any partitions or provisions. Flats in slab blocks and twin tower blocks were equipped with self-contained washrooms and kitchens or balconies for cooking. A multi-room design was first adopted for trident blocks. There were windows in both the living room and bedrooms, and also window ledges for air conditioners. The harmony blocks were also of a multi-room design, but with bigger windows for better ventilation and more daylight. Today, construction of public housing is site-specific, with flexible non-standard design and green concepts integrated to foster an eco-friendly living environment. Public housing estates built in the early years were only provided with very basic facilities and management. Over time, the environment, local facilities and estate management, including security and cleansing services, have seen tremendous improvement. Comprehensive planning of housing estates takes into consideration the everyday needs of tenants. Universal design has been widely adopted in both common areas and inside flats, providing barrier-free access to all people and rendering an environment bracing aging in place. The Housing Authority also encourages NGOs and tenants associations to invite their neighbors of ethnic minorities to join activities to help them integrate into the community. A host of activities are also organized on a regular basis by housing estate offices in collaboration with NGOs to foster a harmonious community.
Since 1978, with the Home Ownership Scheme or HOS and various subsidized housing programs, the Housing Authority has been helping low to middle income families to buy their own homes. It is an integral part of the government's housing policy to build subsidized housing for sale and boost the turnover of PRH flats. Apart from the HOS, in January 2018, the Housing Authority also made the Green Form Subsidized Home Ownership Scheme a regular feature. This helps tenants and eligible PRH applicants buy their homes and release more flats for waiting families. To shorten the waiting time for PRH applicants, we endeavor to meet the housing production targets and keep enhancing the sustainability of our public housing. We proactively provide in-flat inspections and repairs and at the same time improvement works in the older estates are carried out to extend their lifespan. Energy saving and waste reduction measures are also in place to promote an eco-friendly lifestyle. We adopt low carbon construction methods and energy saving measures in our new public housing projects. These include making massive use of precast components, avoiding plastering and tiling on walls, and using recycled materials and renewable energy whenever possible. Over the past decades, public housing has been providing stable and affordable homes for generations of low-income families, improving their quality of life, fostering mobility across the social strata and promoting Hong Kong's economic and social development. Looking to the future, the Housing Authority will keep striving to fulfill its mission of housing for all.